pretty sure this is the same car they apprehended yesterday. I could be wrong, but it looks like the same. Kahapon na huli ka na namin, di ba? Bawal ba talaga? Bawal, kaya nga kahapon na huli ka na namin eh. Can you imagine that? You see all the enforcers and then you decide to overtake them in the bus lane. And look at the plate. What happened? They're going to check the registration of the bike since I don't know if there's no plate attached or if he's installed a plate cover. I'm not sure what it is, but obviously you can't read anything. There you go. Suddenly you can read the plate again. Although, why does the plate have a red background instead of a white background? Again, it just makes it harder to read. Thankfully, he already handed over his license. The enforce is just over there under the footbridge to make sure the ticket doesn't get wet. He's on the sidewalk. I just saw a cyclist go past with his helmet on the handlebar, and it makes me wonder why do you even have a helmet if you don't want to wear it? You're on EDSA, it's raining, and you're still not wearing your helmet. What does that mean? It means you do not want to wear your helmet, right? Because those are the worst conditions. You're on a highway during rain and you're still not wearing it. When are you going to wear it? After you already smashed your head on the floor? And I don't want people to think that I'm being too hard, but I'm just worried because every day we see people, my goodness, the things we see on the road that could easily be avoided. You could go home with minor injuries instead of MMDA having to scrape you off the road. They actually saw an accident earlier, MC versus MC, and one guy got injured, but the local enforcers are dealing with that, the ones that are actually stationed to that area. Why are they apprehending that? Is it coding? What day is it today? Wednesday. There's the license. I'm being careful not to obstruct the bike lane. I write out the ticket, then send her on her way. Coding is a pretty affordable violation, to be honest. Just saw that van. He was in the bike lane. The enforcer, well, I don't want to say nearly hit the enforcer, but they got pretty close to each other. I don't know if he's not paying attention or... And just behind that van, they flagged down this car. I didn't see it myself, but they said bike lane violation also. Wait, isn't this a one-way street? Yeah, see, it's a one-way street. A lot of people rely on this street when traffic gets too heavy on Edsa. Surprised that he's coming the wrong way. They'll ask for the license and then issue a ticket. And they might even send him forward because it might be safer and sending him back again, under the guidance of enforcers, of course. Pick a target, for example, that red car, see how far he moves, and then see how many buses pass. And then bear in mind, MMDA statistics say the most private cars are only carrying one person. Each of these buses are fully loaded, you'll be able to see when he comes past, that's around 50 people, okay? So just watch, do some math. That's 50, that's 50 people that you just moved. That's another 50 people that you just moved. The red car is only just about to pass us now. In fact, look, he's stuck there. So once this bus comes along, that's going to be another 50. So in the same time it took that car to move 10 feet, they've moved 150 people. And then once this next one comes along, that's going to be 200 people. And then when the one behind comes along, that's 250. I was about to say that's 250 people, but suddenly there's a gray van here. Anyway, the point that I was trying to make is that the busway is an amazing program. It moves hundreds of thousands of commuters while only occupying a single lane. It's very efficient. If you let cars and motorcycles into that bus lane, you will ruin it. Anyway, they get the license from that driver and then issue him a ticket for a bus lane violation. I'm pretty sure this is the same car they apprehended yesterday. I could be wrong, but it looks like the same. Kahapon na huli ka na namin, di ba? Bawal ba talaga? Bawal, kaya nga kahapon na huli ka na namin eh. Kasi po, kami ting ni bus. The driver doesn't want to give his license. The driver did finally give his license. Thankfully, the driver of this one is a lot more cooperative. He's handed over his license straight away so they won't delay the buses. The white car, he really... Uh, anyway, allegedly that white one is a government vehicle, but he has the markings on the inside. They've been removed from the vehicle. They're like magnetic stickers. 
I see a van behind this bus. Oh, it's an ambulance, okay. Ambulances are permitted to be in a bus lane, obviously. Amazingly, this guy just left the traffic and then entered the bus lane. It's got an improvised red play, which would always raise questions because I can tell you there are people using false improvised red plays, pretending to be government vehicles. They already got the license from this driver, so he will have to pull off to the side to engage his ticket and engage license back. A uh, red one is also delaying them. What they want is the license so they can issue him a ticket and kick him out of the bus lane straight away. He is covered by a memo that was sent out saying, do not use the bus lane. There you go, that's the license, thank goodness. They don't want to delay buses, right? I have to say, you can see an improvement. Operating every day on the bus lane, there's an improvement. Less people going into the bus lane, they're scared to be cool. And that's the purpose of the ticket, right? To deter people from doing the same thing again and to scare other people from doing it. That's what a lot of people forget, right? If you do not enforce anything, if there's no penalties, then nobody will care. I don't know why people put their hazard lights on when they go inside the bus lane. Anyway, there's the license from the car. They pull him off to the side. Often you'll see people tailgating an ambulance to get through the bus lane. The enforcers are just so busy because they have to keep chasing people. It's really hard, I tell you, it's really hard to operate on the busway, especially those segments that don't have barriers. But you have to do it, otherwise the bus lane is going to get ruined and the commuters will suffer. Road right now they're acting on complaints. Allegedly this road is no parking both sides. So they'll take photos, write tickets, and if no driver comes out, they'll impound the vehicles to clear the sidewalks, to clear the road. In fact, look at this one. It's parked directly next to the sign that says no parking. My goodness, that's incredible, isn't it? I wonder if the barangay have deputized traffic enforcers that could ticket these. And that one that was next to the no parking sign, it's already up on the tow truck. People are starting to come out of their homes now. I don't know if this one's been ticketed already. I'm not sure why a lot of people treat the sidewalk as if it's an extension of their home. I don't think that driver's actually been ticketed yet, but there you go, the enforcers approached him now nearly managed to move it without being apprehended. I don't know if this guy is serious, but he's riding along without a helmet, even though he's seen all of these enforcers here. But there you go, he was finally apprehended. So obviously that would be slippers, 500, no helmet, 1,500. So a total of 2,000 pesos. You see this MC's already been ticketed, they're just waiting for the tow truck. Same thing with all those cars in the background. This silver car is actually parked on a corner. Same with that black one over there. So the towing crew is hooking up to both of them to tow them away. Many of the cars have already gone up on the tow trucks and they'll be taken to Tomana, Marikina City. Somebody commented the other day that it's Tomana, not Tomana. Next thing they're going to tell me, there's no such gang. That's the other one we saw on the corner earlier. I don't know why a lot of people like to park slap bang on a corner, right? It makes it so much more difficult and so much more dangerous for anyone that wants to make the turn. Well, I guess this shirtless guy is the owner of the MC, so if he can show a license, it would just be a ticket. You see this vehicle is parked on the corner. I'm not allowed to park within six meters of the corner, the intersecting lines. That's why they paint it, to remind you. Anyway, you see the tow crew already guiding in the truck. They're going to pick that up and take it to Tomana in Marikina City. It's not too far from here. It's already halfway up. It seems like this whole sidewalk became a dumping ground for these tricycles. Look, they're all parked here. There's no drivers. My goodness. Some drivers have already started to come out, which is good because it's better if they can just take a ticket and move the tricycle instead of being impounded. With this one that just arrived, the enforcer is guiding them now to park parallel. So they won't actually obstruct the sidewalk. That's a nice pickup truck, but unfortunately it's parked on the sidewalk. That's why the towing crew are picking it up now. The enforcer is now looking at this vehicle. You can see it's obstructing the sidewalk. The vehicles behind it are actually parked without obstructing the sidewalk. Let me show you. Well, I say they're not obstructing the sidewalk. It's really not ideal, but that one on the end is definitely the worst. 
They are moving the car forward now. I wonder why they didn't do that before, right? Why wait for an enforcer to go here and tell you not to obstruct the sidewalk? The driver handed over his license without any problem, so that makes things easier. Thank you. These guys have a hard time all day, every day. It's nice when a driver just gives his license without a fight. The lady said to me, it's parked okay, right? I said, no ma'am, it's sidewalk. And then she pointed to the gutter and said, isn't that the sidewalk? So I explained to her, no ma'am, that's not the sidewalk. This is the sidewalk, look. So I think she's not gonna be happy that the enforcers are going to issue a ticket. She wants to take it inside the garage. But the problem is right now, it's not inside the garage, it's here on the sidewalk. I mean, bro, don't for somebody to get this. You can't 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 get this. You can